the Character Info Window tutorial. In this lesson, we will complete personal information about the characters in your story. We will learn how to add and remove players, as well as assign the main character and the influence character functions to players. In Dramatica Story Expert, either create a new file or continue with the Hansel and Gretel project created in the Beginning Your Project tutorials. Click on the Players icon or select the Characters, Character Info command. Our main character should be selected. Confirm or change the main character's name to Hansel. Press Tab to move to the Role text field. A character's role in a story indicates what it does and how it fits into the big picture of the story, and should be anything except a proper name. Since Hansel is new to Hollywood, let's give him the role of New Guy. Press Tab to go to the Age text field. Type 20s. Press Tab to go to the Occupation text field. Type Unemployed Wannabe Actor. The gender pop-up menu is already set to male, so let's keep it that way. The plurality pop-up menu allows you to indicate if a single player or multiple players represent the main character throughline. Select Single Player. The special pop-up menu allows you to identify the player as the main character, the influence character, or no special identification. Leave this as the main character. The Type pop-up menu allows you to assign a character type or archetype to the player. Let's make Hansel the protagonist in this story. That gives him the function of leading the effort to achieve the story goal, whatever that may be. Notice that the characteristics associated with the protagonist archetype are displayed in the Characteristics list. We'll discuss how to modify those settings in the Assigning Characteristics tutorial later on. The Character Description, Character Activities, Character Function, and Expanded Role text fields provide places for you to add general or detailed information. Let's add a new player. Press the Add button to add a new player to the Players list. Let's add another player, but this time let's use the Character Add menu command, or type Command K. Another new player appears in the Players list as well. Now let's remove one of the new players. Select one of the new players by clicking on it in the Players list. Click on the Delete button, abbreviated to read DEL. Click the Yes button, or type Y, for Yes, to approve the player's removal. Bye-bye! Select our main character Hansel in the player's list if he isn't already selected. Let's try to delete him by selecting the Character Delete menu command. Notice how Dramatica Story Expert prevents you from deleting Hansel because he is the main character and suggests that you designate another character as the main character before deleting Hansel. Press Return or click OK to close the warning. Now let's try using the Typecast feature. Select the remaining new player and press the Typecast button. In the Dramatica Story Expert document folder is a folder called Character Examples. Double click on the folder to open it. Here we find 12 character stereotypes that are shipped with Dramatica Story Expert. The Typecast function lets you pull the characteristics from the character file and assign them to your character. Select Extrovert and click OK. The notice says that the characteristic of Pursuit is currently occupied by Hansel. That is because we assigned Hansel to be an archetypal protagonist, and Pursuit is one of the characteristics of a protagonist. Click on the No All button to avoid any further assignment collisions. The player now has several characteristics assigned to it. You can see how to tweak the characteristic settings in the Assign Characteristics tutorial. Rename this player to Josephine. Tab to the Role field and enter Bag Lady. Change Josephine's gender to Female. The Characteristics button the Casting button, and Assigning or Importing Character Pictures are explored in other tutorials.
Use File Save to save the file if you wish to continue using this example for the next tutorial. This ends the Character Info Window tutorial.